special edition of Carl Briggs 73 Live, old school hip hop. Welcome to Carl Briggs 73 Live, and today is a special edition of uh, just in remembrance of uh, old school hip hop. As we all know, uh, Biz Markey slipped into a coma. Uh, he was a diabetic and he had a stroke. Big ups, big uh, Biz, Biz Markey, uh, old school hip hop, but also I want to send a shout out to uh, Buster Rhymes. I seen the interview with you and uh, Fat Joe. and. I was impacted by that because it was so old school and it was so real, your presence and your attack, even though, however, he is your friend of 30 years, big ups, the way you address that issue. A lot of our peoples are somewhat miseducated in areas, especially down here in South Central, the backwoods of South Central LA. We just go off what anyone tells us, right? They say things on social media and then you have to, you have to read it recant that because sometimes it's like you say you never know when you're gonna cross that person's path and that was just improper so uh shout out big ups to uh Buster Rhymes however back to uh Biz Marquee hey man uh my prayers is with you and your family uh I had a lot of uh, good memories growing up as a child man listening to your music man uh and it's sad because uh old school hip-hop or old school music when I hear it, it brings up good memories, right? Uh, we play old school stuff all the time, like Frankie Beverly and the Maze, uh, Joy and Pain, you know, uh, Golden Time of Day. You hear these things, man, and it just brings back that joy and right that 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 energy that you need to make it through uh, these times, right? And growing up in these areas where we grow up at, we look for things to make us uh, happy. And one of the things that made me happy, one of the things that influenced me was all the old school rappers. Man, Biz Marquee was one of them. Nobody beats the Biz. Nobody beats the Biz, right? And then he'll start beatboxing, right? And so that attracted me to hip hop as well as like Run DMC, a Cool Hurt. You had guys of that nature, man. You know, uh, the Fat Boys, right? Uh, and so on and so forth, right? And they're like, old school, don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head, right? You hear stuff like that and see, it's like a jungle sometimes. And man, I used to, man, I love that, that, that. And then we found a way out, you know? It helped us find a way to eat. And this is how we ate. And so when I see an icon like that, man, I want to just send a shout out uh, to Biz Marquee, man. Like I say, our prayers is with you. Uh, it just don't get no better than that Slick Rick, you know. Uh, we could just, just name a whole bunch of dudes that uh, cater to this culture, man, this black culture. Something that we found, man, because we were real creative and we needed that. And now you got these clowns nowadays uh, making a mockery of the hip hop, not paying homage to the old school, right? And then they turning turning hip hop into a gang culture, right? You fools, you got out the ghetto with your money, right? And then you went 
you, you, you got the money just to go kill another black man. They doing it now. They making hip hop just terrible, man. It's, it's terrible. It's distasteful. I don't want to support none of the album. If you didn't kill another black man and you talking about killing another black man, especially in the hip hop culture, man, you youngsters is getting out the, the game. And that was the whole purpose of you getting this money. That was the whole purpose of you using your talent was to get away from that shit. Right, and then you got a lot of these dudes now just making a mockery, and it's it's, it's a lack of appreciation, man. It's uh, and then you talk this intellectual, you get on these platforms, and some of y'all play intellectual, but if you're really intellectual, then you would know, man, that you would try to better the condition of the black community. You would try to better the condition of the black community as well as Q. You know, he's getting all this backlash from hip-hop. Cuba, old-school artists, right? As far as this West Coast shit go. And as soon as you heard the trigger word Trump, you lost your mind. That ain't what he said. He didn't tell you he was a Trump supporter. What he said was, we went to both parties, right? With the issue of black America riding on his back. And he needed your support. And that's why I gave a shout out to Buster Rhymes because Buster Rhymes brought so much clarity, right? And it's via YouTube. You can go on YouTube and watch the interview, uh, the, the exchange between him and Fat Joe. Man, it's like paramount, right? And I've always respected Buster Rhymes' get out and his intellect, but it just showed where he was in growth. And one of the things he said was old school, right? If you cut from that old school cloth, then you there's certain things you just don't do, man right like being a man right i went and talked to my manager today and i told her that it makes me feel like a man when i'm able to go and pay the way for my wife right i'm able to go pay the way for a woman right as a man right growing up watching your mother struggle right and you're sitting here letting these women's right Pay the way. No, we supposed to be paying the way because it makes you feel good as a man to still say, baby, what you want? I got this credit card. But that's that old school stuff. And this is what this segment is, is, is addressed on. Old school, we need to get back to that. Right? Those old school values. Getting out, opening the door for your woman. Being a father to your children, right? Right? Not going out there. My nature is not, yeah, I grew up in the gang culture. True enough, I have. Right? Been a part of it, right? Genocide, all that. But at the same time, I didn't wake up to go hurt a man, right? That's not my objective. My objective is, right, my objective, and not coming from a subjective standpoint, my objective is to empower social equity. And that's what Cube was talking about, right? It's time for us to just cut it out, man. Cut it out and appreciate and look back, man. And if you're feeling bad, man, you, you look at something that make, made you feel good. It was times when I laid up in prison, man. Year in, year out, right? I'm talking about decades. Right? I just walked a decade off. And the thing that kept my sanity was my memories. And I have memories from this new school stuff because it ain't nothing to remember the way y'all behaving, especially in that hip hop culture. What I remember was all the old school values. You know what I mean? When my older homies, my G homies would pull up and be like, hey boy, what you doing out here? Street lights on, right? No, stay in, stay in the child's place, man. This ain't a place for no young men, right? A lot of my older homies told me don't get involved with this street stuff, right? That's that old school value, man. And that's what I'm talking about, about that music, man, them dudes came with, right? Hip hop was designed, it was designed to find a way where we wasn't hurting one another violently, but through our talents, man, right? You go battle with dude, you drop a 16 or an 8, he drop a 16 or an 8, and that's the way y'all settled y'all beef. Coming from the New York culture, where them brothers was down there, right? Break dancing and doing all of that stuff. It gave you another way, another option, not to hurt, hurt your own kind or hurt yourself. Because when you hurt your own kind, you are hurting yourself, right? When you go to prison, you are hurting your own kind and you are hurting yourself, man. And like I said, this has been another segment of Carl Brick uh, 73 Live. Big ups to Gordon, man, for the footage. You always do a great job, man, in production with me, right, as far as my footage. Uh, shout out to Vicky and the kids, man. We love y'all. 
uh, listen, man, if, if I could, I designed my show because I am very passionate about change, my change, right? My change in my existence. And sometimes my shows aren't always politically correct in the views of an opposite opinion. And I'm for that, right? I am for that. But at the same time, I have my opinions and my views, and this is my view today, man. Let's pay homage to that old school stuff. Let's get back to that, man. And some of you youngsters, man, start taking care of them damn kids, man, out there. And start taking care of your women, man. Because why would you want your woman to be less than? You want her to better herself, right? Better herself as well and can carry you into that as a man, right? So your children can reproject that. And with that said, y'all, this has been another segment of Carl Briggs 73 Live Old School Edition. Question of your manhood, homie. Keep it cold. We don't talk to bullies. We don't make a peace bump. We don't trust in the judicial system. We shoot guns. We rely on the streets. We do battle in the hood. I was born in the G code, embedded in my blood. We don't talk to bullies. We don't make a peace bond. We ain't trusting in the judicial system. We shoot guns. We rely on the streets. We do battle in the hood. I was born in the G code, embedded in my blood. See, I be on some street shit. Don't talk to police. I won't accept a visit from agents who wanna see if I got shit to say.